Nexus is one of the newest additions to the XBLA, and soon the PSN and PC too. But did you know the game was originally released in 2005 as an open source shooter for the PC? Well, now you do. Then in 2010, it was announced that a new version for the XBLA, PSN and Steam was being remade using the CryEngine 3 game engine. Here's a gameplay video released that year which shows some early development footage. Oh, teabag. Cheeky. Well, the game is finally here and the developers Ilphonic have created a vibrant, fast-paced, old-school arena shooter with some awesome twists and some massive disappointments. There is some kind of paper-thin story about a war between some shiny robot dudes and some red-looking shiny robot dudes called the Kuvasari and the Forcellians, but it's pointless stuff and seemingly just an excuse to pay some random CGI guys to make this intro video. You don't need to know about space wars or galactic struggles to play this game. All you need to know to play this game is that the bad guys are a different colour to you and that guns go bang and make them deaded. The nine arenas offered here are your basic shooter fare, with jump pads, teleporters and multi-layered levels being familiar sights to anyone who's played games such as Quake or Unreal. We've taken their flag. Each level is built around team deathmatches or games of capture the flag, and although lacking in any kind of originality, they are at least well designed and offer great playing fields. It's just sad that there are only the two aforementioned game modes to play. In such a long development cycle, surely it couldn't have been hard to place a King of the Hill mode in there, or a couple of deathmatch variations to add a bit of variety to the proceedings. Lack of originality is the last of the game's worries though, because at the moment the game's matchmaking system is so broken I had to capture the majority of this gameplay footage in the single player bot training mode so I could 1 actually get a full match and 2 not have to wait half an hour to get into a game. The lobby system is pretty pants, you can only choose quick match and cannot jump into a live game, plus you have to wait for at least 6 players to join your lobby before the game will even start, and that means you get that aggravating lobby chasing thing where people come in, wait for 5 minutes, get bored then drop out again, then come in again. Then when you only have one more person needed to start the game, they drop out again making everyone else leave. Then by the time the game has finally started, half the players have dropped out during loading anyway. It's not a great start to a game which is basically an online shooter only. At the time of writing this review, you can't even play a full online match with 8 people, which was one of the game's major selling points. The developers have posted a thread in their forum saying that a huge fix is incoming though, so hopefully it will be fixed as soon as possible. It seems weird that they would have released a game that didn't do what it was supposed to, but I guess it was rushed and released unfinished so they could get the game ready in time for its inclusion in the XBLA house party. Weapons in any shooter game are essential to its success, and luckily here they are plentiful. Each one has a sexy space name, but they mainly boil down to shotguns, snipers, machine pistols, plasma rifles and rocket launcher types. Each weapon except for the launcher has a secondary fire activated by the left trigger, so getting to know each of the firearms and what they do will greatly add to your chances of survival. The coolest and most interesting part of Nexus though has to be the mutators, but I can't help thinking they will either make or break Nexus for you depending on what type of gamer you are. For me they made the game much more fun, the randomness and huge selection of the mutators made each match radically different from the last. I think there are about 100 different mutators in total and each can be upgraded with pips bought using points you have earned in online matches. The mutators are activated by collecting power ups which let you choose from 3 randomly chosen ones and the effects of each vary wildly. I love the comical mutators like Pogo which caused all players to bounce around uncontrollably and I thought that this lifted the game above the level of forgettable shooter into a league of its own amongst the other arena shooters out there. However, there will be those among us, those who take FPS arena games very seriously, who will hate the mutators, because it doesn't matter how well you are playing the game and how nifty you are with the headshot, there are certain mutators which are game changers, ones which will turn the tide of a battle no matter how well you've been fighting, and this could prove incredibly frustrating for those of you who value skill over luck. 
It's a pity Nexus isn't working straight from the box because there is definitely a very fun arena shooter lurking under the surface. At the moment it's hard to recommend it to people when the core game is broken. Sure the solo training matches provide a nice switch your brain off and headshot some bots experiences, but is that worth your money? At the moment, no. When the patch goes live and the game becomes properly playable online though, my opinion will certainly change. The old school action is like a breath of slightly musty smelling fresh air in this world of perks and killstreaks. It harks back to the days when I first started gaming online and with the added addition of the mutators, the 10 minute matches have a habit of flying by, leaving you itching to jump straight back into the action. Let's just hope that there is still an online community hanging around for the game once it's finally up and running properly, because if not, the real magic of Nexus will be missed by the majority and that's just a damn shame.